Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? I hope uh, the rain here in mid-Missouri didn't keep you up. I know there's others watching all over the place, but I just want you to know that uh, and remind you today that you are loved and you are thought of and um, and not just by me or or those in your family, but um, by God himself, that God sees you and he hears you. Uh, I think sometimes we forget. I think sometimes when in the middle of circumstances, we, we allow those to speak louder than God. And, and, and I just, God is a God of love. Remember, he has called us um, to repentance, not by punishment or anger, but by his kindness. It's his kindness that leads us to repentance. And I don't think that's just a salvation kind of um, uh, repentance. I think that's the everyday repentance. Um, because, you know, we have a tendency to, to, to have thoughts that go astray and these or that. And, and God is loving us. You know, it's interesting to me. I, I had this thought that God smiles at us. He, we are his creation. We are made in his image. He, he desires, and it says in scripture, he longs for all to know him and to see him. And, and for, um, for this thought that when he sees you, even when we're not at our best, he still smiles and he still loves you. And, um, Again, yeah, I know we're supposed to learn from the situations and, and those kind of things, but it's I'm praying that God is in the center of your learning in this and that it's not anything else. You know, um, sometimes when we lay down at night or whatever, the enemy begins to whisper things to us um, that aren't true about us, and then we begin to believe him. And sometimes we just sit down there and we begin to think about how maybe we responded not well, and we begin to condemn ourselves and, and throw condemnation on ourselves. And Romans 8, to, uh, Romans tells us that there is no condemnation for those who uh, love him and are called according to his purpose. So um, those thoughts and those things, either we're doing it ourselves or the enemy's whispering it. But in 1 um, John 3, <clears throat> 19 through 20, it says, this is how we know that we belong to the truth. And we will convince our conscience of his presence, that even if our conscience condemns us, God is greater than our conscience and he knows all things. God sees us and he hears us and that uh, some of your translations may say heart instead of conscience, but I'm here to tell you now that that we do belong to him. We belong to the truth. Remember Jesus said, I am the, the, the truth. We belong to him and he loves us. And um, no matter how dark things get, I need you to know this in your life. God loves you. And he wants the best for you. And he sent people into your life so that um, you trust him and you trust them. And we begin to see the glory of God within relationships. And um, I hope I'm encouraging you this morning um, because um, I want you to just realize that no matter where you are at, God is by your side. If you don't know who Jesus is, I'm here to tell you. Uh, that you just give your life to him and, and, in, and in a moment in a twinkling of an eye you are his and um, and you just say Lord forgive me of my sins and, and and I will trust you and you begin to walk this life I encourage you uh, if you haven't accepted him if you don't know I'm gonna ask you I said do that right now do that as God speaks to you um, because God is gonna do great things um, and I want you to see him move in your life. And I want, he, I want you to see the freedom that's in his presence. And I want you to see what God has for us. Um, so uh, today at 1 o'clock, I'll be going live in a live podcast with Pastor Smithy. Um, I will give you, I will put out on the church uh, Facebook page. And, the, and uh, I'll send out a flock note that says uh, all these things. And uh, we will get that going. Um, and let you know, I don't know exactly all the details, but I think this is going to become a regular thing. Um, so I'm really excited about it. But that's at 1 o'clock, so be looking for stuff before then. Um, but just go about your day-to-day remembering what we talked about this morning, uh, about who you are. That God loves you, and He's for you. He's not against you. He is your, uh, He goes before you, and He's your rear guard, and He is your shield around you. And we have the joy of the Lord in our hearts. Amen and amen. Father God, I pray a blessing over um, over our leaders and over our um, uh, just our people, Father. I pray a blessing over each and every one of us, uh, Father, that we would, then the blessing being not that, that we would understand your presence is real and it's with us. And Father, with you, it says in Scripture, all things are possible. And so, Father, let us... Let us continue to just lean and find and seek your presence and your face in our lives. 
And Father, I pray if there's anyone out there today who, who has accepted the Lord recently, that you would bring people into their lives and that you would um, get them to, um, to reach out to those and, and, and let, them, let them tell people uh, what has happened, Father. We love you. We give you praise. Um, and uh, we just we love you so much. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. We will see you guys tomorrow live at church. And we will see you Monday uh, for our time together in the mornings. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye.